can you clap? You have Perhaps tentacles. Was my fiercest familiar. Oh, impressive. It's just a new mo. It's just a good dog. That's glamour, Goofus. Back look. Tis good to see you again after all these years. <laughs> and judging by your vigorous greeting, I dare say the feeling is mutual. To be sure, a simple shake of the hand would have sufficed by way of welcome, but I shan't complain. But you must be wondering as to the purpose of our visit. We come to beg your assistance <laughs> in a most urgent matter. Words of power. <laughs> shake? Beg? <laughs> Our comrades' very souls are in danger. If we are to save them, we will need the benefit of your unsurpassed knowledge on the matter. We can't just roll Please, over. Will you not sit and hear our plea? The VA is so good at this. this is cool. Oh, how dare you! How dare you speak <laughs> thus in my presence! <laughs> It was to escape such words of temptation that I hid myself from the world of men. Oh my gosh. You are sinners, one and all. And I swore never again to have any part in your affairs. I can only imagine what terrible events forced you into a life of seclusion. But I know that the Numo are a good and noble folk. It is not in your nature to turn a blind eye to the plight of those around you. And in treating with us, I am certain whatever mistrust you feel for man will begin to heal. <laughs> Alpha, no, no. <laughs> Uh oh. No! <laughs> Do we break their will? If you will not be satisfied, oh, I oh, suppose I could listen. After all, there's no harm in just. No, 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 no! I mustn't. Not again. <laughs> That damn court mage seemed to have the best of intentions, too, and countless innocents died for my naivety. Oh, oh you know not what you ask of me. What horrors my knowledge has wrought. We just want to save our friends. We won't lie down and accept defeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Of all the visitors I could possibly have, they're even more stubborn than I am. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Oh, very well. I will hear your petition, but that is all. And I expect fitting payment for my troubles. <laughs> Five scratches. Commensurate with your contribution to our cause. No more and no less, I And a squeaky toy. With that settled, might I impose upon you to join us at the Quisterium? I'm afraid the nature of my friend's predicament calls for absolute secrecy. It's raining.
a welcome guest. I'm sorry? You mean to tell me not only that the return of night was your doing... Hey, that's me. ...but that you hail from another world as well? Everything we told you, of the Source, the Shards, the Seven Umbral Calamities, all of it is true. I realize how fantastical it sounds, and I would not blame you for doubting our testimony. But given your expertise, you must surely have noted the peculiar nature of their souls. Any other time and I would have dismissed your stories as balderdash and flummery. But upon closer inspection, tis plain their souls are far denser than is normal, and that they do not possess true bodies. Save you. Your body is your own. And your soul is the densest of them all. You calling me dense? Well, I mean, okay, yeah. <laughs> As I said before, were it not for their heroism, the skies over Norvrant would still be awash with light. The realm yet at the mercy of 4-3 and the Sin Eaters. After all they have done for our home, seeing them safely back to their own, it seems the very least we can do. Hmm. Your tale is intriguing. Yes, very intriguing very. indeed. Simply to hear it is fitting payment in itself. As for your friends, I can but agree. Their valorous deeds on behalf of Norvrant are deserving of recognition. Of their own fitting payment. You will help us then? I will. I would see my knowledge put to good use for a change. I do have one condition, however. I am not the spry young Numo I once was. As such, I will require assistance in my fieldwork and testing. It would be our pleasure. We'll be laboring for our own benefit after all. How could I not? <laughs> Is that just a thing old magic wizard hermits have? I'm beginning to think the answer is yes. Spun quite a tale, but tell me, have you given any thought as to how you might return to your world? We 
Well, that's not great. Tell our souls to settle down a bit. <laughs> oh, a couple pints. Oh, wait. <laughs> To Armoring! Stasis, full dark chaos. <laughs> Not too bright, are you, boy? Drink up, buddy. Oh. Ponil.
Aww. <laughs> well, fancy that. You're welcome. Thank, uh, thank this funny dog, though. Sixty six per cent. Good for the soul. He did say maybe. Jerks. Kind of familiar. Is it gonna be a pig? Uh, pig, pig, pig. Owls, there's literally like a little less conversation, a little more action. Hmm. <laughs> purest of waters and the finest of clays. What? Why is getting a lantern hard? Uh, I mean, you... You know I'm tight with the pixies, right? I can...
I could just go, like myself, just me. Sure. If, if those dinguses really want to play with the pixies. Uh, someone at Mordsuk, maybe? Or the the miners? back. Hey, friends! <laughs> As in Charlie Jarek! Hey, live your dream. <gasps> that was a good behem baby behemoth. Pig in a blanket. Like a giant trolley. <laughs> He's gonna make a like a two lane trolley, one one side on each set of tracks, and it's gonna do a trolley drift. Heckin' coyotes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nah, not my arse. I'm using that. Birdie. Bird. about my arse! The pixies go, ya goofballs. <laughs> I would have had words. I do.
Maybe you should. Let us begin. <laughs> I trust you've prepared the clay? Mm. <laughs> oh, Very good. Now, I would have you sculpt for me a porksy. It is a pig, I knew it. Pig, pig, pig. Plump with floppy ears and a short curly tail. How's your uh, sculpture? A porksy. Work? I think I know what you mean. There we are. H how's that? Oh my gosh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is suddenly creative. <laughs> <laughs> There's no denying that. An attempt was made. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm no artist, very funny. <laughs> Pay him no mind, child. Though it may look like a grotesque parody of reality, it is what the Invoker believes <laughs> that matters. The one time Alpha You're not helping. It gets to laugh at Alize instead of the other way but around. But I speak the truth. If successful, this incantation will turn imagination into reality. Which is why the only thing of import is what you believe this figure embodies. It's a Mr. You Potato must head. focus. Hold the Porksy's image steady in your mind's eye. Now then, as I taught you, relax and allow your energies to flow. With flesh of clay I bid thee rise, on wings of dreams to touch the skies. What once was idle fantasy, I call forth to reality. The final fantasy. Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> Piggy! <laughs> it worked. Hmm. Not bad for a first attempt. It's so chunky. Now, let us see what can be done for young Halric. All right. Now smooch this pig. Through the operation of the magics you invoked to animate this familiar, it is now replete with the energies required to stir the boy's soul. Big ol' honking kiss. <laughs> you need but give it a name, and it will do as your heart desires. What's your name it? Alpha No 2. A name. 
Oh, uh, Tesline after her friend. All right, I've decided. Now. Matoya, or, or no, she didn't really know her much. <sighs> Go, Angelo. Angelo, aww. <laughs> Back to the way he was, still. <laughs> 